thought we'd jumpstart today talking about the plans you have for yourself. My daughter Taylor recently took the MCAT, which is the medical college admissions test. I was with her the night before and the morning of the test. I could see that she was anxious. She really wants to do really well, and she's been studying since the beginning of the summer. So I say to her, I have my devotion book called Jesus Calling. Would you like me to read what the devotion is for today? She said, sure, but I hope it's a good one and that it helps me in my situation, because sometimes it's disappointing when you are looking for God's wisdom and it ends up being some random off the wall subject. So I turn to the page for August the 21st. The title, I've Got Plans For You. We both look at each other. I continue reading. Wait with me a while. There is so much I want to tell you. I have great plans for you. I have all the details worked out. We are walking along the path I have chosen for you. Just follow me and I'll show you what to do. Sometimes, you'll feel that you aren't good enough or brave enough to carry out my assignment. But you're looking at your imperfections. I am looking at my power that makes you good enough and brave enough. Sometimes my plan will call for you to stand out from the crowd. Don't be afraid to be different. It doesn't matter what other people think. Just stay on the path of life with me, trusting me with all your heart. There were several seconds of silence between the two of us, and then she says, wow, that was really good. So today, let's ask him to remind us that when we are anxious and worried about our future, he certainly takes the pressure off when he tells us that he's already gone before us and has all the details worked out. And when there is something continually blocking a path that we feel certain is the absolute right one for us, to help us remember that he may very well have something totally different, but even better already set up. Are you choosing to make this a great day? That's awesome. See you next time.